Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ajax G here with another video. So this video has been requested of me from a few of my subscribers um, and just some people in the comment section with my best laptops to stream with on Twitch. So this is going to be the best pre-builds to stream with on Twitch. Okay, so I'm going to mainly focus on Amazon because you are able to send your product back within 30 days and you don't have to pay for the shipping of sending it back. Some companies, when you buy a pre-built PC, you have to pay to ship it back um, and they try to give you some issues. So I'm going to show you some PCs. Um, I'm going to try to stay under the thousand dollar mark but i'm also going to show some that's over a thousand dollars just in case there are some of you that have a budget that's a little bit bigger all right so let's get into some amazon all right so for our first pc we have a peripheral gaming desktop okay it is an intel quad core i7 3.3 gigahertz now at this price for 620 bucks i believe that processor is either a 7th gen or 8th gen i know it is not a 9th gen for sure in the description it doesn't tell you so i would say send a message to ask what it is now it has 16 gigabytes of ram and that is that DDR4, so that's the newest technology of RAM, so that is perfect. It has 120 of SSD storage and one terabyte of hard disk drive storage, okay? So the soft state drive just will help you boot up faster and all that jazz. Now, I would say put on your softwares that you want to boot up fast on your SSD and then on your hard disk drive, save all your footage and all the extra stuff that, you know, you can put on that's going to be more space okay and it comes with a geforce gtx 1650 okay four gigabytes and it's overclocked okay it is the renewed version so i'm assuming it works a little bit better but um i know it's got a lot of flack from other uh pc uh players in the game but i'm telling you if you're going to be using elgato and you're going to mainly be streaming this is perfectly fine because your CPU does most of the work when you are streaming and capturing game footage. So that was the first PC. That is the PC that I would recommend if you have a tight budget and you really can't afford to go over $650. That is the PC to get. But if you can go above $650, I have the perfect PC for you. All right, let's get into this next one. All right, so this is a CyberPower PC. This is VR ready, okay? It has an i5 9th gen CPU that is amazing at 2.9 gigahertz. It has a GTX 1660 and it has four gigabytes of RAM for the graphics card. Now, the one thing I don't like, as you see the mustard color cables and the way that CPU fan looks, it's, I, I just have a thing about how the PC looks inside right okay so it has 8 gigabytes of ram 120 ssd one terabyte of hard disk drive and it's wi-fi ready so that means you can use your pc over wi-fi you don't have to have it plugged in but if you're streaming it is always recommended it's more like a staple okay that you have your pc plugged in okay this is one to go i know you notice it has 8 gigabytes instead of 16 gigabytes of ram that's because of the cpu that takes up most of the cost so that is why it gives you eight gigabytes of ram for eight hundred dollars versus the six hundred dollar one that gave you 16 gigabytes of ram okay but i would go with this one because it is upgradable so you can add another stick of ram so I would recommend sending an extra $50 to add another stick of RAM to that specific PC if you plan on playing games on the PC and streaming to whatever streaming service you choose, Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, whatever um, you're into. All right, so now for this next PC, this is for people that can spend a little over a thousand, okay? So let me talk about the specs with you guys. Now, this PC by iBuyPower pretty much stacks up to the PC that I currently own. Now, I chose to go AMD instead of Intel because it was a boatload cheaper to go with AMD. And I prefer AMD's processors over Intel for the 8th gen series, okay? So as you can see, this has an i7-8700 CPU, 3.2 gigahertz. It has a GTX 1660 
at 6 gigabytes of RAM. So your graphics card has 6 gigabytes of RAM. That's amazing. The PC has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. It has one terabyte hard disk drive and 240 gigabytes of SSD. It has this Wi-Fi ready and VR ready. Now for $1,100, so that's another that's $300 bump from the last PC, but you get two um, hard disk drives. I mean, two hard drives, two drives. So one solid state and one hard disk drive. Okay, the solid state has 240 versus the 120 of the other one, and you get one terabyte. Now this is the perfect pc if you plan on streaming if you plan on gaming on the pc and streaming to whatever you want without any hiccups and you can play on high settings on all your games okay even probably ultra but i would say go high settings if you're streaming so you don't have any hiccups or crashes okay so if you absolutely had to pick a pc out of the pcs that i showed you i would say get the 1100 one if you have the funds for it Okay, don't be that person that's like, oh, I need to get it because it's over a thousand dollars. No, the ones that are under a thousand dollars are perfect. But if you plan on streaming games that are coming directly from the PC and you're not using an Elgato, you want to have 16 gigabytes of RAM and at least an eighth gen CPU or the second gen of an AMD CPU from the Ryzen 5 up. But I would prefer you to get a Ryzen 7. Okay. Now, the last one that we're going to go over is if you have $1,500 to spend, okay, you get the 9th gen of an i7, okay, the 9th gen CPUs are amazing, and you get a RTX 2070 8 gigabytes GPU. That GPU alone ranges from $700 and some change to $1,200, depending on how the market is going. So, for $1,500, half of the PC is your graphics card right there on its own, okay? You get 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, and a 240 gigabyte SSD. And you get liquid cooling, so that's also dope. So if you can, I would say go with the $1,500, of course. Um, but the cheapest product that I showed you, which was the 620, that would be just fine if you just want to stream and you don't plan on doing any video editing. If you want to do video editing, I would say go up to the $800 one. But if you want to play games from the PC and stream, I would say go with the $1,100 one or the $1,500 one. Again, I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below. Also, if you would like me to build a PC for you and send it to you, I can give you the spreadsheet of how much it will cost. I also don't have a problem building the PC for you and shipping it to you. Um, thank you guys for watching. This is Ajax G here. Ajax out.